For weeks now, we have been bringing you stories about allegations of sexual assault inside Cedar Point housing units. We have introduced you to several victims of sexual assault, and tonight we tell you about another type of victim. Lead investigator Brian Duggar has her story. Brittany Dunlap loves Cedar Point. She loves it so much that she worked there in four different seasons. But that love has been put to the test. She's no longer a Cedar Point employee. More than two weeks ago, Brittany says she was sexually harassed and threatened by a team leader. Now, she says she reported two separate incidents with a man to park security and was told that he had been reported by other women last year. And then she was called to Human Resources. Expecting to hear what happened with her complaint, she instead was shocked to hear the HR manager say that she was fired and the team leader remains employed. She believes it's because of her complaint. In our culture training class, they talk about sexual harassment, sexual assault, um, and they tell you that if you feel like you're getting sexual harassed or sexually assaulted, then you can go to HR or your manager. And they said HR is always there willing to help you. And it just makes me feel like they're actually not. They're trying to protect these guys. Now, 11 investigates sent Brittany's allegations to Cedar Point. Official did not respond. And we also asked Brittany to provide us with verification of her employment this year, which she did. In addition, a separate employee contacted us to say that she had been harassed by the same team leader earlier this year. Now, we tried to contact that team leader, but were unable to reach him. Now, we're going to continue to follow this story. And as a reminder, if you've been a victim at Cedar Point, contact us at 11investigates at WTUL.com. Reporting in studio, this is Brian Duggar for WTUL 11. Brian, thank you. Just into our newsroom, a possible sexual assault was reported last night at the Cedar Point housing units, documented in a police report. According to the Sandusky police, the alleged assault happened around 10 o'clock. WTOL 11 is not releasing the potential suspect's name until that person is charged in the case. Sandusky police say they are currently investigating the allegation. 